Hey guys, I'm just sitting here with my good buddy Abe. Uh, we're just hanging out, feeding the birds and shit like that. Um, but anyway, hey, we're in Gettysburg. Uh, so uh, we're going to go check things out, check out the museum and stuff like that. So we'll see you real soon. Cheerio! Hey guys, so there's the third independent battlefield and the tank. And there's the cemetery up there. Go have a look. How oh, cool is that? Gettysburg National Military Park. Big old birds watching over. There goes Christina and Son. Up the way. Maybe that's that. Yeah. You can still go Abraham on the track. I don't want to do that. There's the first part of his speech, his address. There's the second part of it. There's old Abe. <laughs> and this is his memorial. We gave the actual speech about 300 feet from here. Uh, let's go check over there. But here's a cannon. For some reason my camera keeps shutting off. And this is the uh, World War One and Two vets. Thank you for all your service, nurses, and everybody down in here. There's a brigade, another monument. Uh, monument of Valor for the West Virginia Armor Artillery. Huh. Cool. Can you see that into this camera? If you're here, can you say hello? Feel free to come and talk into the camera if you like. Yeah, the muffled drums, sad roll has been the soldier's last tattoo. No more life parade shall me that brave and fallen few. Wow. That is 926, 27. A whole lot of people here. Hey guys, how you going? So many have passed during the Civil War. But I just wanted to come and pay my respects to all of you uh, who served your country and Paid the ultimate price. Uh, I'm not from here, by the way. Uh, but you still got to respect your service and respect what you did. Uh, and uh, it must have been very hard. Uh, 
Look at that. So many. But I just wanted you guys to know I'm I'll leave you a smoke up yonder, but I wanted you guys to know that your death wasn't in vain, you know. Uh, you guys paved the way for the future. You know, this battle between brothers, sisters, and families, civil war, it took a broken country. It was a broken country. And he, because of your sacrifice, it became one great nation. You know, I just want you guys to, to realize what you did. And I know both sides respect, respect to you all. You're following orders, you're doing the best that you can for your country. But in the end, you did. Because now the whole country is united. And the country is a lot stronger because of the things that you guys did and your sacrifices on both sides. Um, so, nothing but respect for all of you. This country wouldn't be what it was if you guys didn't make it that way. And off she goes. Bye. <laughs> oh, that's going to be liberty. So there you go. More cemeteries down no, more cemeteries, more graves down that way. And there's all those people. Let's see what this one is. Wanna oh, check that out? And check out that great big statue over there. Hopefully someone has said hi or talked on here. This place is huge. Quite an honorable place though. Everybody here is military and served their country well. So. Hey guys, how's it going? So, I work at Gettysburg and we got to look around the uh, cemetery a little bit. I wanted to find that trench, but I don't see it on the map, and it's not likely we're going to find it, so maybe, you know, oh well, whatever. Uh, tired. Um, wanted to do a lot more, but again, couldn't do what I want to do, so hoping to find uh, at least a lady's house uh, where she was shot through the door there, and uh, there's supposed to be a hotel there. So hopefully we'll get somewhere. All right, we'll talk to you later.